It is enough for disciple that he be like his teacher and a servant like his master. So rito po, walang excuse. Walang alternative. Pag sinabing na kay Jesus ka at tinawag kang alagad, wala kang option but only a privilege to be like your teacher. Who is your teacher? Jesus. To be like your master. Who is your master? Jesus. Ito iniintay ng mundo. Ulitin natin ha. Pag nasa Lord ka, wala kang option. Pag nasa Lord ka, dapat alagad ka. At pag alagad ka, wala kang option. Wala kang reason para makipag-argue. Nang sabi rito, it is enough for a disciple that he be like his teacher. Enough. Hindi sobra, hindi kulang. Are you with me? Enough to be like his teacher. Sino teacher natin? Jesus. To be like his master. Sino master natin? Si Jesus. Ito po'y demand ng Diyos. It is enough for a disciple to be like his teacher. To be like his master. Are you with me? Hindi siya optional. It's a command. Jesus expects that the church will be like Him. Yan ang iniintay ng buong Pilipinas. Yan ang inaantay ng buong mundo. At kung sinang may mandate, siya ang qualified. So tayo inaantay ng Pilipinas. Amen. At huwag natin kakalimutan, ano man ang edad ninyo, saan man kayo naroon, ano man ang sitwasyon nyo sa buhay. In this world, not in heaven, In this world, you are like Jesus. You must believe that. And you must tell the devil you believe it. And you must say to the devil, he must believe you. That in this world, that in heaven, ano man ang edad mo, kalagayan mo, in this world, now, today, hanggang mag-rapture in this world, you are like Jesus. Jesus.